Antarctica is one of the most mysterious places on our planet. Even today, scientists continue to admire the mysteries that are stored in its ice. One of them is a red painted waterfall, which stands out vividly against the background of a restrained landscape. The bloody waterfall is a small stream of melted glacial water, colored in a rich red color. It is located in Antarctica and flows out of the Taylor Glacier in the McMurdo Dry Valleys. Anglo-Australian geographer, anthropologist and researcher Thomas Griffith Taylor first documented the waterfall in 1911 during the tragic Terra Nova expedition led by Robert Scott. The name Taylor Glacier was given by Robert Scott himself in honor of his companion, who led one of the expedition groups and at the same time explored a specific area of Antarctica. The area where the waterfall is located is very unusual. Due to the super low humidity and lack of precipitation, which has not fallen here for an estimated two million years. The name Dry Valleys came about. Scientists from Johns Hopkins University, led by Ken Levy, presented a new study explaining the mysterious nature of the so-called bloody waterfall in Antarctica. They found out that this waterfall, sandwiched among glaciers, is not made red by minerals at all, as previously thought. Please like this video and subscribe to this new channel and you will see many more interesting and useful things. He also discovered that when coming out from under the ice on the tongue of the glacier, the water first becomes transparent, but then quickly turns red. Taylor himself called this phenomenon a bloody waterfall. And for more than a century, scientists have been trying to understand what exactly turns clear glacial water into blood. Taylor himself believed that red algae was to blame. Half a century later, a theory was proposed that was still generally accepted. It says that water owes its color to minerals rich in iron. The bloody waterfall located here is a famous attraction of Antarctica. The meltwater from the glacier flows into the Salt Lake Bonnie, which is located a few kilometers from the glacier and consists entirely of ice. The water comes from the Taylor Glacier, and for a long time the bloody waterfall remained a real mystery, because the temperature here is so low that the water should have frozen, but this does not happen. Researchers from the University of Alaska have found a network of extremely salty groundwater under the glacier and assumed that they are the source of the bloody waterfall. These salty waters remain liquid under the ice because when the water freezes, it releases heat, which is enough to prevent it from turning into ice. Fresh water would have frozen over by now, but concentrated saline solution needs a much lower temperature for this. The University of Alaska named Taylor Glacier the coldest glacier known to science with constantly flowing water. The water in the waterfall is initially not red, but transparent. This water flowing from under the Taylor Glacier turns blood red when it comes into contact with the air. 2. Put it simply, it is rusting. Usually, the red color of springs is associated with the presence of iron in them in minerals with an iron content, for example, magnetite, gothite, or hematite. In the 1960s, it turned out that there are such minerals in the water from the bloody waterfall, but they are too few for the liquid to get a pronounced blood red color. There was another explanation. The water has this color because of the red algae that are abundant in the melting glacier. But this version has not been confirmed either. In 2023, researchers examined water in soil samples taken from the waterfall under an electron microscope. As a result, they found tiny spheres with a diameter of several nanometers. Chemical analysis using X-rays showed the presence of iron, calcium, aluminum, sodium, and other elements in these tiny spheres. In the course of previous studies, they were not detected for technical reasons. As a result, the scientists came to the conclusion that the iron contained in the nanospheres creates iron oxides and hydroxides as soon as water comes into contact. With air, the instantaneous oxidation takes place and turns the waterfall blood red. And the high salt content and the presence of other elements chlorine, magnesium, sodium contribute to the appearance of ferruginous phases of yellow and orange tones. This is where this creepy view comes from near the water. The color of the bloody waterfall is not the only mystery of this place. Scientists are also interested in who lives inside Lake Bonnie. Harvard scientists have found out that microorganisms live in the completely frozen and extremely salty Lake Bonnie. But if they live under ice, they don't get the sunlight they need for photosynthesis, and no nutrients get in from the outside. How do they exist without light and food? Like the bacteria living near deep-sea thermal springs, the microorganisms of Lake Bonnie receive energy by splitting sulfates, which contain oxygen and are contained in the bottom soil. 
The iron contained in the water processes sulfates so that microorganisms can break them down to oxygen over and over again, obtaining the necessary vital energy. The water under the Taylor Glacier remains liquid despite the extreme cold surrounding it. High salinity lowers the freezing point, which means that water can remain liquid even in harsh Antarctic temperatures. Water seeps to the surface through cracks and channels inside the glacier, 